Hi guys, so it's time for my first May review. So for today, I have the May Super Geek Box, which just came in. Uh, the theme for this one is Hero, and interestingly enough about this one is that it's apparently part one of a trilogy of, Dest of Destiny was the trilogy name of boxes. So I found that very interesting. So I'm interested to see what they do next, and I'm interested to see what happens in this one. So, These are always the hardest ones to open out of all the boxes. This one's the hardest, so <gasps> let's get started. First is the t-shirt I see. Oh my gosh, so this is an Adventure Time and Zelda, sorry, I was like blanked out for a second on the name there, t-shirt, the Legend of Bubblegum. That's a cute shirt. I like the fabric. I don't know what it is, but they keep switching it up, I feel, every now and then. This is a, um, it's not as heavy. It's not heavy cotton like the other ones. This is one of the lighter polyester cotton. That's why. I like these blends better, and I kind of like that they switch it up, and they don't just send all of one shirt. So, that's a cute shirt. Not my fandoms, but that is cute. I'm not, that's a pretty funny little mix-up, so. Or a mashup, whichever you want to call it. Oh! <gasps> Captain America! That is so cute. I don't know if there. You can see all of him. And it's an official Marvel Universe Universal plushie. Or Universe plushies. Sorry. I just said that wrong. That's cute. I'm not a fan. I guess it's like kind of based off the Funko. Like he has no mouth. Like. <laughs> I don't know. That just. That, I mean it's cute. But it looks kind of weird to me because he has no mouth. Like, I'm sorry, he's got eyes, he's got hands. I mean, even his hands, like, they specify the finger. It's not just, like, random, so um, why could you not give him a mouth? I think that's a little creepy, that part. But it's cute, a little plushy. I wonder if you could have gotten more if it was just, let's check that out. Then we have, if I can pick it up, <laughs> a Dynamic Duo Air Freshener. So this is Superman. It's just one, yeah, just one. I don't know why it's dynamic duo, but if it's just one of them, there's not another one. But that's cute. I wonder what scent this is. It does not say, and I can't really smell. So, but that's cute. I like I like getting little air fresheners like these because I actually I got some for Christmas, like clip on ones, and ever since then I've been obsessed with using air fresheners in my car. So I love getting these because then I'm like, yeah, I can be geeky and have a nice smelling car. It's always a bonus. Then we have, oh, I dropped the box. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's a mouse pad from Link. <laughs> it's 404 Dead Link, Princess Not Found. That is funny. I don't know if I've said it enough times, but I am a big pun fan. Like I get kick out of them. That's punny. Like that's that's adorably pu adorably punny. So sorry, something on my phone popped up. Next we have Oh another another mashup with Flash, the Flash and Pokemon with Swift Poke. There's a lot of mashups in this box. Like I don't know, like there's a lot of individuals. There's a lot of fandoms represented so far. Like, I mean, we've got Flash, Pokemon, Link, Captain America, Superman, uh, Adventure Time. So there's actually a lot represented in this, but mostly through, you know, across like that. And that's just, you know, a little pl uh, plastic paper poster. So that's a cute little thing. Um, I like the Flash. I'd have to frame this because otherwise I, it would d destroy it just because it's, it's like flimsy paper. So that's a cute little extra to be added in. And then we have a, is this, my, I'm not sure I, this is what I think it is. It is an armband. It is a YOLO armband for Mario. So how many fandoms in that? That's another fandom. We have Flash, Thunder Time, Link, Pokemon, Marvel, Captain America, Superman, and so we have seven fandoms in one box. I think this is probably the most fandoms I've ever gotten in a box. 
So I guess that's cool because I've kind of mixed feelings on that. I think that's kind of cool because it's like, you know, then you do really do have something for everyone in it. But at the same time, it's kind of hard to buy Vox like this. Like if they're teasing all of these heroes, it's kind of like, what if I only like one or two of these fandoms? And, you know, like, because usually they pick like three-ish, around three tops. So if you like one or two of those fandoms, you're like, I'm going to like the majority of what's in that box. Like, for this, like, I'd say two of the items are really big fandoms of mine, which is Captain America and Superman. And the Captain America one kind of creeps me out. Oh, okay, and Flash. I didn't think. I do like Flash, so I, that would be cute, too. But, yeah, like, I think it's cute, the variety, but I just think it's not, I don't know. I mixed feelings on it. And then that is the pin. And see, that's what I mean, because the pin is just, you can see that it's Wonder Woman and Superman. Which, I mean, yeah, for Hero, I get that. But I'm like, you put a Superman air freshener in here and that's who you put on your button? Like, I would think they would put some mix of all the heroes or something. Like, I think they did it for one of the April pin-ish? One of the pins they did, it was like Marvel and stuff. They had a bunch of different people on it. And I was like, I thought we'd get something like that for the pin. But, and then, okay, so you could have gotten, that makes more sense. So you could have gotten Superman or Wonder Woman for the air freshener. I got, I kind of wish I got Wonder Woman just because I'm really liking her now. Like now that she's finally getting her due. Um, you also could have gotten, there's Rocket. You could have gotten him. Instead of Cap. I kind of wish I had gotten Rocket. Because I think Rocket looks better than Cap does in this. Like, because the mouth thing is kind of freaky. Like, it really is kind of freaky. So you could have gotten one of those two. And... SDC... The Ra Rocket Raccoon is an SDCC exclusive. I kind of wish I'd gotten him. Because, again, he looks as creepy. And then you could have gotten... Green, yellow, or... The red, yellow... Uh, yellowing up. Leveling up one. So yeah, so that's what you got this month. Um, all in all, I think it's a pretty cool box. Um, again, I already said what I felt about having so many phantoms in a box, which I think probably my only holdback with this is it was okay box for me. But, all right, so that's it for Super Geek Box for now. Um, I will be posting other reviews, so keep your eyes up for those. Thanks for watching, guys.